Welcome guys! Today's video is going to be a maintenance trip prep vlog with a twist. Trust me, it's good. It's good. Keep on watching. So it's year two of me heading to New Orleans for Essence Fest. If you've never been, it is what has been aptly dubbed the Festival of Culture, of the culture. Something along those lines. Last year I was there and I don't know if it was because it was the first year back from the Panini, but when I tell you we had a time, we had a time. Okay, <laughs> and so I thought it'd be super fun y'all to bring you guys along as I prep for this trip. I know after my vacation outfits video, you guys wanted me to share some tips and just content around packing. So I've got that for you. But to make this vlog even better, even more top tier, we're gonna do a little pregame. So stay tuned to see what that is. So, but first, so I had to get my <laughs> three, four month braids out and get my scalp washed. I was like, oh, I could not wait to, I was like about to rip those braids out of my head. It was time for it to go. I had refreshed it once in between the whole like time period, but like I just wanted a good wash. I just went straight to the hair salon that did my braids and had them take the braids out. And honestly, this is my first time ever doing this. I got in there at 10 o'clock and was out of there right after noon. I was like, I'm never going back to taking my own braids out again. We all have what we like to spend money on. I like to spend money on not doing hard labor. So <laughs> on my way to go get these braids taken out. One thing I learned in my 30s is that I don't like doing hair. Because the way I want my scalp washed. Woo, ciao. It needs to be washed. The next thing was to get nails and lashes. I got my lashes done by, oh my God, um, Beauty Nights. If you're in the DMV area, definitely check her out. She is so sweet, so professional. She's also the same person who, who did my brows. I got powder brows, vlog the experience. Let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing all of that. Yeah, so she got my lashes together. I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I wish y'all knew how late I am and how much I'm running. Headed to get my eyelashes done. Yo, there was traffic, because there's some kind of stadium event. Hopefully, she doesn't get me a Y'all, I'm wearing that crinkled dress from Shopo. Paired it with my red coach bag. It's a look. Lashes are done. I like them. I'm not sure if I wanted them a little bit more full. But they look really good. I don't know if you guys can see. I do have like residue on my face from the tape and stuff, but they look really good. Up next is my toes. Okay, if you wanna save time and money when getting your pedicures done, two things that I changed in that routine was I started getting dip on my nails and I started getting gel on my toes, y'all. Those nails will stay put for weeks. No chips, no stress, you don't gotta worry. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out too, but that was like one of the best things ever that my nail tech suggested. And I can tell you that I'll never go back to regular polish again. Let me know in the comments, are you someone who like changes your, you know, your nail color and nail designs often, or do you like to like stick to the script? I'd love to know. How should we speak? <laughs> I think it was when I was leaving the nail shop. Since then, I have gone to get food and I got my toes done and I went to Ulta. Y'all, New Orleans is hot. Just in case you didn't know that, okay? Last year, my makeup lasted about seven minutes at 8 a.m. humidity. So I'm on the hunt for the Patrick Star setting spray and for the this other fix it spray that I saw on TikTok. Sold out at Ulta. Patrick Star is carried at Sephora. Why did I think it was Ulta? So those escapades. So now I'm gonna see if I can order it 
off of Walmart app, fingers crossed, um, because I don't feel like going to all these places to find the stuff, but I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Let's get into the pregame. So like I, I told y'all, this is gonna be a little bit of a twist. So let's take a couple steps back. So yes, I was at the airport. They had delayed our flight. And by the airport, that was me last year. Okay, on my way to Essence for the first time. Our flight was delayed like three times. We literally had five minutes. Get on the plane. As soon as we land, I check um, text updates. It tells me that my connecting flight was delayed as well. And guess what? We get there and our flight is closed. Anyway, after a little bit of finesse, me almost passing out, we are the last two people to get on the plane. And guess what? We still sat there for 30 minutes. But I was determined to have me a good time. So that's what I did. I'm telling you, you can't go to Essence and be bored. I can tell you that much, okay? You can't go there and be bored. And if I do nothing else when I travel, I'ma eat good. When I tell you that the food in Louisiana did not disappoint, we went to Acme for the oysters, y'all. Prior to that moment, like you couldn't pay me to have oysters. And the oysters were busting. Again. The food was yummy. The people were so hospitable. All of the Uber drivers had such great things to say. And then y'all, the experiences. We, I didn't even get into that. They had a street of just brands doing activations. So you could like try products out, get free drinks. They had DJs, but like, and we didn't even get into the quarter. So when we went to the quarter to have food, y'all, it was live and bussing, live. And so on the last day I was invited to this brunch with Dub and y'all. First of all, I got to meet Auntie Tab and then guess what happened? If you know me, this y'all, Issa Rae was literally two steps away from me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Yep, that's me completely freaking out. I y'all, I almost got in the elevator with Issa Rae, y'all. I just was like, what is happening to me? Is this my life? <laughs> now that you guys kind of get the, the essence of essence, <laughs> let's get back to reality and prep for part two. <laughs> it's packing time. So I pulled a bunch of pieces that will potentially work for this trip. So the first thing I do when I'm planning to pack for a trip is to first decide on the mood slash vibe for the trip. Or I will create like a mental mood board just to have like some ideas and inspo that I've seen that kind of just give me the vibe I'm going for for that trip. Now having a mood board also allows me to decide on what my color palette is. And if you saw the reel that I posted about how I pack for a trip, then you know how important having a color scheme is to not over packing. So for this trip, the color scheme is orange, pink, and yellow. But so once I pick the hero pieces for the trip, everything else kind of like develops around it. So step one, get a mood board, get yourself a palette, and then decide on what your must have pieces for the trip will be. Right now, one of my must have pieces for this trip is is going to be this shirt. Why this shirt? It's because it's completely cut out in the back. Y'all, I like to think of myself as a more modest dresser, but aside from Dubai, the only other place in the world where I would happily be naked would be Nola in the summer, okay? Ooh. I'm not even gonna hold you, it's hot and it's humid. So a little ventilation is much needed. In a little bit, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the one packing secret that I implemented that totally changed the game. I mean, mind blow. This has made getting ready for trips, packing for trips, 
so much more stress-free. This has taken all of the anxiety out of packing for trips. And honestly, traveling can be a lot, but this little hack has made things a little less stressful. So the next thing I do, of course, after I've decided on the pieces is to try them on and make sure everything fits. The one thing you don't want to do, babe, is throw a whole bunch of stuff in your suitcase and hope it works. It literally, it's chaos personified. And you don't want to do that. Another thing I like to do is take pictures of my looks once I decide on them because it really just makes getting dressed when I get to my destination so quick. So if you've been enjoying this video so far, this is the perfect time to take a little pause to hit that like button and to drop a comment. Now, if you're an OG, if you're a chicster, come on in close. Let's talk for a few seconds, okay? Y'all, I can't lie to you when I say that I had a little bit of anxiety, tiny bit of fear when it came to creating this video and posting content like this because it's a little different for me. So if you've ever found any of my content useful, any of my try on, my styling videos, you've gotten inspo from this channel, show this video so much love, spam the comments, like the video, share it. We're in this together. We're in this together. And now that we finally have all the outfits together, it's time to pack. My least favorite part of this, at least it used to be. A packing checklist has totally changed the game for me. This is just a janky one that I use. That I just kind of created on my phone. But guess what? Because you guys requested it, we actually created, you know, a nicer version for you. Specifically, exclusively for my newsletter community. If you want insider access to not just this packing checklist but my summer wardrobe checklist tons of seasonal lookbooks that we create then all you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter it is linked in the description of this video and i'll probably pin it too Whenever I use this packing checklist to pack, I find that I no longer forget items. Like I don't get to my destination like, oh, did I pack a toothbrush? Oh, did I pack this? Did I pack that? This really helps to take away that mental load of what to pack. Finally, the point you've been waiting for, you have been so patient. You have been so kind, no, I'm joking. But the number one thing that literally changed the game for me when it came to packing, and I highly recommend if you travel more than three times a year, is I created myself a go bag. And if you're like, what, go bag? Essentially, if you're wondering what a go bag is, it's kind of like all in the spy movies where they have like a hidden suitcase with all the money and their passports. Only, it's not money and passports, it's my skincare routine, my makeup, all of my tech stuff. So I have a toiletry bag that's completely stocked with everything that I need. I have a makeup bag that has all of my go-to products, my foundation, an extra blush, everything is in there. I even have one that I created with my gadgets because God, there is nothing worse than not having a charge. <laughs> So I created one for that and honestly, this has really helped. Like, I don't even have to think about, do I have toothpaste? Do I have a toothbrush? The only thing I don't have is a sewing kit, which I'm gonna get on this next trip from the hotel. So I don't have to think about it. These are all of my top packing tips. Let us know in the comments below what yours are. And if you want outfit details, cause I really didn't talk about it. This gorgeous dress is from Shopo. I think I shared it in my Boohoo haul, but but links to this look will be in the description box down below. If there's anything that I mentioned in this video that you would actually like a link for, also let us know in the comments. I will link my packing tips blog post for you guys. And that also has links to a lot of the products that I use and I love for travel. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, babe, stay blessed. The tips that I use when sh when <laughs> oh, you know let me do that again when packing <laughs> and y'all that <laughs> it's packing time. <laughs>